there. My name is Dr. Marissa May. In this video, we're going to be looking for the zeros and axis of symmetry for the graph h of x equals x plus 1 times x minus 3. Now, I'm using the Desmos version of the graphing calculator, which I am linking below for you, um, to take a look to do my graphing so you can see it. Uh, let me go ahead and type the equation here. Using, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and put the parentheses just like they are. I think it's just easier and I won't make any mistakes. I want you to see a couple of things. Now, the zeros that we're looking for here are the x-intercepts. And you'll notice when you move your cursor to hover over those points where it touches the x-axis, Desmos will tell you the values for them. So I have a zero at x equals negative 1 and a zero at x equals 3. Very nice. Desmos does all of that for me. Now, the axis of symmetry runs through the vertex. That's your high or low point. So you can see that the, my axis of symmetry is found here at the bottom. But you have to be careful when you write the axis of symmetry, that's x equals 1, and that's your axis of symmetry. You don't need the negative 4 part here in order to write your axis of symmetry. So let's write all of that for ourselves. So we have zeros at x equals negative 1 and 3. Remember, those were here and here. And then we have our axis of symmetry at x equals, and that was here, that was at positive 1. So my axis of symmetry, that's my equation for it, x equals 1. So feel free to use that Desmos graphing calculator. Like I said, I've linked it below for you so that you can use it pretty easy. Bye for now.